Welcome to another exciting episode of On Enter Flash. In this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you again about Action Script 2. Uh, in this tutorial, we're going to make a movie in which, when you press a button, which you can see right now on enterflash.blogspot.com, which is the coolest URL in the world, you should go visit and uh, click on an ad or two or donate to help me out and help the this uh, support free learning. Well, anyway, what we're going to do in this uh, tutorial is if you click on a button like this one it changes it changes the text dynamically if you click on the other button see hello you it says bye bye so hello you bye bye pretty simple um, nothing crazy or out of this ballpark but I this is a very important thing to know is how to control buttons so when you do press them they do something magical in this case they change the text not too much um, magic going on, but you you tell somebody else to do it. And maybe you, you know they can't. So let's go to a somewhat new document. The first thing we're going to do is add a new uh, layer. Well, yeah, okay. Just press this post it button right here. A new layer appears. We're going to name that new layer a Action Script Two. I'm just going to name it AS Two. I know uh, it doesn't say Action Script Two. It's AS Two, but you know. It, use your imagination. Okay, we're going to lock that layer. And inside this layer, this is where we're going to have all of our action script. So we never need to put anything inside there. So just leave that layer alone. And the second layer, I'm going to name it stuff. This is just for organizational purposes. I don't think I said that word right, but it's too late. Um, now what I want to do is create that text field that I created on the stage. So you go to your text tool. And once you click on your text tool, inside of your properties window, you should see uh, dy you should it should be static text. So what you want to change it to is dynamic text. Okay. Once you've done that, then you're going to draw a. Uh, I made that a little too short. You're going to draw uh, a rectangle to your your liking, the length to your liking. Let me make it a little longer, and that that's good enough for me. Now it's still selected go down inside of your properties menu again or your properties window and you want to give this a name um, you know alphanumeric name I'm gonna give it the name of uh, this text okay good um, it's it's important to name your text that way when you name any item in flash whether it be a movie clip or button or text uh, field when you name it, that means that you can reference it inside of the action script. And I'll show you exactly what I mean in a second or two. The second thing we need to do is put some buttons on the stage. I've already created a button, so I'm just going to drag that out onto the stage. If you don't know how to create buttons, I've uh, made a tutorial that teaches you all about symbols, which should be in the link information accompanying this movie. All right. I don't think I'm gonna get it perfect. All right. All right. That that seems to be about good. All right. And the same deal goes with the buttons. We have to give it an instance name also. I'm gonna name this uh, BTN1. The second one. We're gonna increment BTN2. Okay. Now we have all of the items on the stage we, they all have names so that means we can reference them so we can lock this layer now you know that we didn't put any text inside of this uh, box but we're going to use the power of action script to fill in information so let's open up the action panel and if you don't know how to open up the action panel then you can just close this YouTube video because I'm not going to tell you but no the way you go is you go to window and inside of the window you go to actions or you press the uh, shortcut accompanied with it let's type in our first line of code which is referencing the display text that we've created dis -t -t -x -t. All right, now we have a reference to it so we're talking to that text field that we've just created, that dynamic text field. You want to reference the text inside of it and the way we do that is we hit a dot txt. Alright, now we know that 
we're saying the item name this text dot text the text inside of it now we are able to do things to it manipulate it so what we're going to do is we're going to add um, we're going to add or assign rather a string to it and strings always are in double or single quotes uh, so I'll name it uh, on enter flash uh, I don't understand why I know so much code and I can't type blogspot dot com there we go greatest URL ever so if I tested out this movie what will happen is this text will populate this area let's see it the way you test a movie is control test movie look at that on enter flash dot blogspot dot com Re this is a really great website you should go visit it okay now we're going to program or put the code inside these buttons to make them work so we know that this com how this command works. We're saying we're referencing the text name, the text inside of it, and now we're assigning whatever we want to it. Now the trick is finding a way to tell Flash when you press down on the buttons to do a command similar to this, or exactly like this with a different input or an assignment. So let's get to it. We named the item, uh, we named the first button BTN1. And we're referencing an action that's uh, associated with it that's on press, which makes a lot of sense on press. Be mindful of what I capitalize inside of Flash. Okay, just like how we assigned the text, now we're going to assign the functionality to it, if that makes any sense to you. We're going to assign the actions that Flash should take when you press the button. On press, I want this function to happen. Or I want this, yeah, I want this to happen. So let's type that. Function, open parenthesis, close parenthesis, curly brace, close curly brace. And OK, now we have it all set up. So we're saying that BTN1 on its press you want to assign the function in which we're creating now a function is something uh, a set of actions that it can be called over and over again but we're instead of making um, a standalone function we're making the function right from the get-go so we're saying the function this function here that is going to be in the curly brace is equivalent to W or what action needs to fire when you press on that button. So when you press on BTN1, your this function is going to happen. And inside that function contains more uh, commands. So the command that we want to use is one similar to this. So I'm just going to copy and paste this. And when I copy and paste it, the thing that I want to change now is what's inside of here. learn free there we go so you can see that this command when you press it it gets when you press it the function that you've just set to it runs so if I press this you'll see learn free on BTN1 so let's copy all this code again and paste it below and instead of referencing BTN1 we'll do BTN2 and you can see that everything is the same for this other than just changing a few items so uh, learn free uh, that is a good idea all right now let's try it out be mindful of the syntax the way things work after each and every command you see I've stopped it with a semicolon that's how most of your commands will be all right, so let's uh, let's test this movie. On enterflash.blogspot.com, you press button one, learn free. Press button two. That is a good idea. I I do agree. So this was a really quick tutorial. Thanks for watching. On Enter Flash is worth. And if you like any of these tutorials or videos, please um, um, subscribe, rate, 
comment on my videos also visit my website and uh, click on an ad or two and put a few pennies in my pocket I really appreciate that so thanks for watching on Interflash and stay tuned for the next tutorials on uh, ActionScript 2